Boy in the morning. Shade 4 5. It's always good to touch down with family, Heather B. Amen. It's not often that you meet people through the music business that you put under that column. As you got friends, you got associates, you got affiliates, you got colleagues, you, you got co workers. You got seasonals. You got seasonals mm -hmm. that only come around certain seasons, usually when they need something. Pretty much. Yeah. And then you got family column. You know, and then how they say all relatives ain't family and all family ain't relatives necessarily. All relatives ain't family. family. That's it. Yeah. Mm. But if you get in that family column, that means something different to me. Mm -hmm. That means we, we, we'll talk about the business after we talk about the health. And I swear this young man is always staying in tune with me. That's every right. now and then, it's just like a random, like a falling star. You'll see, look in the sky every now and then, you see that falling star. Shooting, shooting you, star. You, you, shoot, okay, shooting. <laughs> I've seen falling where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was shooting the stars out the sky oh, from Oakland. Oh, come, come on. on. <laughs> and um, and this man always finds a way to reach out and say, touchdown, just, just when I least expect it. And he always has something going on. That's love. Always has something going on that's different, that's unique. Um, that's unusual. You would have thought at the time that um, All Gold Everything came out in that particular era that he would probably follow the fray, you know, and be like the sheep and the flock of pigeons that came out of that era and all acted like, talked like, <laughs> sounded like, walked like, but he went off and did his own thing and he's been exploring new perimeters ever since. The one and only Trinidad James. Hey, hey. Back, Trinidad James. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, all the great people. How y'all doing? Man, <laughs> how you been, man? Look, we got to start with the fit, man. You always come fitted and well, booted well, you and know, tooted right here. What um, I can't write shoe-wise. I don't okay. want to put my foot up on, okay. your, on okay. your thing okay. too on. much. Let me hold you up. Here. So we got the Anna, oh, yeah, the Anna we, Wintour. We got the Anna Wintour. Oh, the Vogue oh, special, the collab with Jordan. Come on. Oh, All yeah. right, for, for the ladies. <laughs> you know about that. You know what I'm saying? For okay. the ladies. I got those. This is yeah. for oh, 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 another pair. But I went Justin Timberlake, Legend of the Summer Threes. All red joints, so for my sneaker wow. head, you know how I feel. We on sway, so I got to come right. If I don't come dressed to your event, that means I don't really rock with you. Um, you know, boom, brownstone Damn. pants. Okay, but we, you stopped at the, the socks, socks, though. Oh. You, gotta, you skipped the socks. By the way, you oh. need to, you need oh, to my stretch. Bad. You need my to bad. stretch. My bad, guys. <laughs> 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 I need, uh, I got the Gucci socks oh. going on right here. Oh, my God. Gosh. You know, to match the the kicks yeah, or whatever. Yeah, very celebratory. Very celebratory. I <laughs> love that. I love that term for it. What, what, how much are we up to so far with these oh. sneakers and the Gucci socks? This right now we're up to realistically probably about fifty three hundred. Fifty three hundred. Okay, so far we haven't even got to the knees, and we spent fifty three hundred <laughs> on, on the wardrobe. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's move up. Let's we spent fifty three hundred. So okay. we went shoes to socks. We spent fifty three hundred. Okay, right. Then we had to put on pants because this is America. You got to okay. put on pants, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you can't be DJ Wonder. Okay, <laughs> no <laughs> pants. <laughs> he does that all the time. Hey, we know. So trust we, me. Hey. We heard about him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So boom, I went Brownstone, which is a black owned company. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. And boom, those these pants are probably like two eighty. You know what I'm saying? So that takes us up to probably like fifty six hundred. Fifty six hundred. Boom. Okay. Then we go to the turtleneck, which is O three thirty O O thirty two C. Okay. That's a, a UK brand. Mm. That's cheap or whatever, like one eighty, so that's like oh. say two hundred. One eighty right? on a turtleneck. turtleneck. A good turtleneck wow. though. Good turtleneck. None I, of this is gifted to you. You're buying No, I it? no, I purchased all of it. I purchased wow. all of it. What but the most important thing is gifted to me. The, the most important thing, all these things cost a lot of money, but uh -huh. the free thing I have on is my jacket. Okay. And I got it from the Softy Brothers uh -huh. and Adam Sandler for the new movie, Uncut Gems, that I'm in. You in the new movie, Uncut yeah. Gems? I, I see what you did. I see what you did right there. Like and yeah. one. You <laughs> <laughs> and, one. and one, and one. We gonna but, come back to that movie. Amen. All right. Um, Let me get this drip out your way. Look at what is that movie? Uh, when is it? Uncut Gems, December thirteenth. I really, really want everybody in the whole world and everybody listens to Sway to go see Uncut Gems, December thirteenth. Adam Sandler, Softy Brothers. I mean, it's a really good film. I'm in it. I'm. I'm what you are know, you doing in it? Like? I'm what you call it? Well, I'm. 
uh, <laughs> what I want you to see the movie for the movie. Okay. Look, this uh, is how good the movie was. I went to the premiere. It was at the Lincoln Center not too long ago. And I knew it was a big deal because this black woman came up to me and she said, I got to take a picture to you because I don't see many people like you in that often. I said, wow, for real? Yeah. <laughs> so it was a big deal. The Lincoln Center different. The Lincoln yeah. Center, the Lin- yeah. It's different. So yeah. I was, it was a big deal. I was like, yeah, well, I was just standing level. there. I was just standing there. And I, had my, I had a good outfit on, of course. Yeah. Uh-huh. I would have with my friend Jose. He had a good outfit on too because you can't be around me if you don't have a good outfit on. Hello. Okay, look at this whole team though. They all go no, down. Yeah. Look at them. Yeah. 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 We zessin, we zessin. Look at the team, right. Jeez, man. Zessin, less stressing, right? <laughs> Got to so, audition to hang out with this guy. It was, it really, <laughs> it really touched me. So wait, all, all flexing aside and all that type of stuff, it really kind of hit me, bro. Like, I try my best, and I'm being honest with you, to like stay away from always looking at the color barrier and things and trying mm-hmm. to beat it, trying to find a solution mm-hmm. or whatever. But certain things and certain people come to me from time to time where it's like, man, I can't beat this. This is just too real. Mm-hmm. You know, this lady, she's like, I worked in the center for a certain amount of time or whatever. She's like, I really don't be seeing people of color in here. So when I do, she said, I stayed extra over. I stayed after work to see this movie so that I could meet you. And wow. to me, that's a big deal, man, because it's breaking barriers, uh-huh. you know, and, and that's what we all got to try and do Push. from, you know, from whatever level you want, uh-huh. man. break a barrier. And, and it's interesting you say that because people think you have to be on a certain level in order to break barriers. Right. And there, there's no levels to that. Mm-mm. Right. Because that's everybody's true. doing a concert every yeah. single weekend. Yeah. Whether you're Rihanna or mm-hmm. whether you're somebody else who, you know, a local joker. Yeah. The same concert happening in the same state at the same time. Yeah. Or whatever. And your concert could be the one that crossed somebody over to understand what we got going on, what Rihanna got going on. Mm-hmm. That person, it, it's, it's really weird how another person who in less stature could help people understand what somebody else mm-hmm. who's up in the air they can't. They can't make it relate. Sometimes you're too high in the air. You just can't relate to people. That's mm-hmm. true. And people relate to somebody that you can see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's life. You know. And um, I truly believe in that. Like what you said with the intro, and I really truly appreciate that, mm-hmm. man. And the reason why I'm here on my press run for my new single and everything I got going on, and I got to come here first, and I'm always hit you first, is just because it's real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't talk to many people. It's mm. the truth. Mm. Go look it up. I'm not going to lie to anyone. It mm-hmm. don't make sense to lie. But I got to come back with family. I do yeah. these quotes every day, my daily countdown. I've been doing it since the top of the year. We're on day 85 now. Mm-hmm. And I was going to use it yesterday, but I said, no, I'm going to save that for Sway. You ready? And it was so crazy because you brought it up or mm-hmm. whatever. Day, hey, guys, dad here. <laughs> day 85 is basically i rather have relationships than fame. Mm. I'd rather chase relationships than fame. I don't want to chase anything, but I'd rather chase relationships than fame uh-huh. because chasing fame will put you in the grave early. Chasing relationships takes skill. Yeah. Chasing fame, you're just shooting in the... It takes skill, but you just, you're just chasing something. What comes with that chase is everybody's not built for it. I don't think any good human is built for it mm-hmm. or whatever, but the ones who beat it, they don't beat it by themselves. They beat it with a good team. Henry Winkler. Uh, the Henry Winkler, aka the Fonz from Happy Days, just said that exact same thing. He said human beings are not. It was never meant for us to deal with fame. Like it's not in our DNA. It's not part of human evolution. Fame was never part of the plan, and that's why so many people can't handle it when they get it. Fame is the first internet. Yeah. Fame was the internet before the internet. The, re- the what I mean by that is, like you guys are saying, we created that. Uh-huh. A human is a human. We are born the same way. Michael Jackson was born just like Lil Uzi was born. Like the same way it is your human. Yeah. The go the goals and the things that you accomplish, you just worked harder. Mm-hmm. We all are given gifts. Mm-hmm. We all are. With the way well, the way I study humans and study people, I realize that if you do this certain job in the real world, in my world, the fantasy world of entertainment, mm-hmm. you could do this job. You just don't even know it. Yeah. Or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, it's really like. You probably could do it better. <laughs> exactly. You just don't even know. Like, yeah. if you do this job in the real world, in my world, which is a fantasy world, like the upside down world, per mm. se, like a stranger <laughs> thing shit, <laughs> or whatever, <laughs> you could be a rapper. You mm. could be an artist. You could be this, that, and that. You could be an AR. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could be uh, so many things. People don't understand what a job is. Yeah. They just think about rapping. When that's the easiest thing 
to do, but that's not what's going to get you truly paid all the time, brother mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or sister or whoever you are. Yeah, you know what I'm mean? saying. What, what you you've learned that because you you had real jobs before yes, you sir. became a rapper. You was a rapper with a real job with a hit record and had to quit that job and go on and do other things. But you people because they don't may not see you as much. We talked about this before. I don't think that you're still succeeding, but you just said. Being a rapper, you're probably not going to get paid that much. What what have you found to be one of your best revenue streams outside of rap, but because of rap? Um, TV and movie. TV and movie. TV and movie. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I got to be honest. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, it's still a new thing, but I mean, I got what? three. I got three movies that I'm in under my belt, mm-hmm. two movies that I did the soundtrack for. You know what I'm saying? So that's five movies mm-hmm. in like two years. Or whatever, and like those five things, or whatever, like psh, the the way that I made that money is way easier mm-hmm. and way cooler than music because I don't want to do music for money. I want to do music because I love it. Right. That's that's the difference between mm-hmm. me and all these guys. Mm-hmm. Or whatever, like I do music because I totally enjoy it. When I first started, I was just doing it. I would have like he's like you said. Mm-hmm. I left my job. To come do music. Mm-hmm. I was the man in my real life. I was the man in my real life. Mm-hmm. I wasn't rich as hell or all that type of stuff. But what is riches? We've seen people from time to time, the Bob Marleys and certain people, ask you what's the value of money. I've seen a lot of money. Yeah. Trust me. I know what I know how to manage money. I know how to manage money. I know how to manage people. That's the two things in life that I can do very, very well. Mm-hmm. I could guarantee that but what is the true value of money i also i want to give you a better thing what's the true value of the awards that we go so hard to Mm win Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there might be some self-accomplishment you know some validation validation i just think that you should be working for your own grammy yeah that's how i feel you should have a personal grammy yeah and if you don't ever get the real grammy Mm -hmm. do not think that the world is over it only means so much. It only because when you get it, and you have twenty some of them per se, like a, a Jay Z, a Kanye, or a Drake, they were they pouring champagne mm-hmm. in it. Mm-hmm. They probably pissed in it. They probably ashed in it. It's <laughs> a <laughs> piece of freaking metal. And the public opinion is very fickle. Because going back to a Jay who does have Grammys, what happened last year? He didn't get any. So, and so you people's think they opinions in them? aren't consistent. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, and does it, and he didn't get a Grammy for, well, I can only speak for myself, for body work I truly love. Yeah. Oh, four, four, four. I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Incredible. Like, you know, I don't want to force that opinion on anybody, but. We have it, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of all pl- times, he should have got a Grammy. Right. right? Yeah, that, that So particular. when you put the work in yeah. and don't get the trophy, mm-hmm. does that disregard the work? Right. What the, are we talking about here? No. <laughs> they was not. mad at him because he said it's a sippy cup for blue. Yeah, <laughs> treat his like a sippy we'll cup. We told blue. blue. Right. Yeah. If you got twenty it. of them, <laughs> yeah. blue sipping in it right now. Wait, anything that you got twenty juice. of, yeah, you can, yeah. your daughter can sip in it, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Give me one. I get one of them. My daughter sipping. Exactly. We toasted Sip with that on. baby. <laughs> Anything, cappuccino, <laughs> mocha latte, Kool Aid. Right. Let's do all it all. That. Or That's if you fact. see past the illusion of it, you know what I mean. I think he stripped away the power of it, and he's like looking at it like this could just be a sippy cup. It could be anything. Seriously. So, you know, that's yeah. where I'm at with everything. Trinidad yeah. James, man. Okay, we're going to keep naming off some stuff. I, I, you got the chandeliers hanging from your glasses. What's right. that? So, okay. uh, Stella hey. McCartney. Stella okay. McCartney. Okay. Nice. Um, Stella McCartney, she's great. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Mostly of a women's brand. Mm-hmm. Um, these are women's sunglasses, mm-hmm. by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, they just match my energy. Mm-hmm. You know, and I just really like them. Like, anything gold. I used to run away from gold. I talked about this in one of my um, daily talks that I do on my IG where I used to be like feel so ashamed to talk about gold because gold was a thing that made me a thing to people mm-hmm. or whatever. But I had to realize that I can't be upset for my blessings. Mm. I just can't. Mm-hmm. Why would I? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like if it was meant for me to be gold, <laughs> then sir, be gold. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, if it's meant for Michael Jackson to dance, then sir, dance. Then, then dance. Could you imagine Michael Jackson? <laughs> no, I'm not dancing. Yeah, I'm not going to dance. I'm just going to sing. He could sing, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But what if he didn't dance? Mm-hmm. That's because he's like, I'm tired of everybody. Because when you dance, people always want you to dance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I seen Shiggy, the comedian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He got tired of people always telling them to do the, the Drake, Drake thing. Uh-huh. I was like, I'm more than that. Or whatever. Like, I'm tired of seeing 
people have to chuck and jive. Yeah. I'm tired of seeing people have to chuck and jive to be successful. Mm -hmm. That's just not fair. It's yeah. not right. I don't. It's going to always happen, but I don't believe in it. Trinidad James is here, man. He got the new single playlist with the new video hey, was out. We're going to talk about that. Song. Okay, we're going to play We're going to play it. Bobby from L.A. What's up, man? Bobby. Bobby. Yo, yo, Trinidad. Proud member of FS Army right here, bro. Woohoo! What's up, FS Army, baby? Let's get it. Hey, uh, so uh, quick question. What's the most you ever spent on shoes, on a pair of shoes? And two, who's your favorite guest so far? Um, so to answer your first question, the, the right foot, of the shoe that I have on is I can't remember the most expensive, but it is one of the most expensive. The um the Justin Timberlake threes I got on right now, they were like five bands. You paid five K for a pair of sneakers. Yeah, this shoe. Okay. All right. So that and that, then that, the that's second like question. That, that, that Grammy cup. <laughs> well this was before I even got a Grammy. <laughs> oh okay. This, you know what I'm saying? this is I yeah, don't but know, what's in somebody. the shoe? What's in the shoe? <laughs> <laughs> and then um favorite guest so far would be it's now it's a top three man. It's hard to say one. Like it would be currency, Jim Jones or Danny Brown. Hmm. Mm. Dope, dope, dope. Five okay. K, Bobby, save up, man. All right. <laughs> Imagine so the energy. Yo, yo, Heather had me buy a I jacket. How much was that jacket? I keep talking about this Gucci jacket Mike, you made me buy. It was only three something. Oh, easy. Three, three thousand, right? What are y'all right. saying? Yes. Only three. Yeah, it's a different times. You got kids buying six thousand dollar jackets and stuff for well, high school. I don't, I don't like should, that. They, they shouldn't, that shouldn't be. be happening. They kids shouldn't be buying six thousand dollar jackets. And for a I just feel that. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Do it for guys, JC. I was going to say, for a lot of those stories, they take advantage of those kids with those impulse buys, and you can't return the jacket either. So say they stole their parents' freaking credit card, okay. and then they try to go back to get the three bands. You can't. Now, my point 6, is this. 000. Me and Sway hang out a lot. We'll run into a store. Do it. If it was just a regular schmegula, nah, I'm not going to have him do that. But he was doing something for an award show. He mm -hmm. was going to be seen. The hip-hop awards. Be, awards. No, hip -hop. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's tonight. <laughs> that no, it wasn't that one. It was oh. a couple years ago. You got it. You I ain't been back since. Every award show. <laughs> you know, I had to fight. He wanted to wear that. So that's why he wore that one today. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the beautiful thing, the reason why Sway wanted to wear that, because he can get away with that. That's, that's true. true. Men do things that they can get away with. I, I, and I agree. It's a comfort zone for every man. I yeah. agree. But he he said to me, I didn't ask him when you go shopping. He said, yo, HB, come on. I, I, I need uh, to get some. Oh, motivation. So okay. I walked in and I said, hey, man, this got you your name on it. <laughs> right. That's and it. The fact that he bought it, that's a big step. That's that was a big that's step. A big step. Yeah. And I was like, my name is Sway. I don't buy clothes. That was like, you know. I, I love that. It's an AA yeah. moment. It was an AA moment. <laughs> and and I, the whole time I was wearing it on, you know, I wore it. It looked good, though. It's, you it's got your, I bet great. you got your wears out of it. Oh, out of man, it. I got two out of it. You can't. It's, it's the kind of jacket you can't uh, wear. You she can't, set him up for one that, of those. That's the problem. Like, you, I'm going to give the jacket you like, away. Look at you. You can't even wear it twice. I, I love the twice. fact that women love to ball. Yeah. I feel that women <laughs> were born to ball, man. Women no. love to ball. This is what I did, though. It's no logos or anything like that on it. If you know the brand, like how we know. Oh, okay. It's so, no it's, logos? It's, no. no. Okay. I don't, I don't okay. like that. Oh, I don't I like that. Very discreet. It, mm. it's, it's, but you know. It's sway. It's, it's, that, and it's tasteful. Right. So he don't want to wear it because he don't, because he know it's still in the oh, back of his mind. Oh, he knows Gucci. And in the back of his mind, see, boom. Mm. And in the back, see, he already knew the brand. In the back of his mind. I don't want to wear it because it's $3,000. I don't want to get, I want to get it messed about. up. He's still crying about that. <laughs> I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it to, I'm going to give somebody with you it You can though. write it off. Yeah. Eh. Nah. Yeah. No, give it away. Give it's, a give it's a better flex. It's a better flex. give it to somebody. What you, <laughs> what you yeah, really okay. need to do is frame it because you really never, how many more times you ever going to host like a situation like that? You really don't go out. You don't go to award shows neither. Like chill out. It's a moment. It was a sway moment in hip hop history. I'll give you something that you don't think about. I know you didn't think about it because you don't think about clothes. Yeah. I'm going to give you an example. Okay. Let's give you 10 years from now, right? Yeah. It'll be 20. 30, you know, 20, what, 2030? Yeah. yeah. Right? In 2030, it'll be a young man, he's probably like 19 to 21, and he's a fashion designer. And a lot of fashion designers make mood boards. And a lot of times they don't look at the Trinidad James because that nigga's too much. Uh -huh. I'm looking for <laughs> what people wear every day. People don't wear this every day. People uh -huh. wear this every day. Uh -huh. So in reality, this is good fashion. What I'll have on? Is what good you fashion? have on is good fashion. Yes, Did you read good. my t-shirt? With my t-shirt. <laughs> Fatherhood is priceless. Come on, man. That's, I make statements with my... You see what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> so so that, what I'm saying to you is that for that designer, like these brownstone pants, these guys don't care about the flashy, flashy. You know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They care about plain mm -hmm. and like the John Elliott's of the world. Plain. There's no logos. Like she's saying, no logo. That's real fashion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's in Dior. They just not got into this logo shit because 
whatever. Mm -hmm. rappers. But rap is because of rappers. Rap, honestly. Because, honestly, because of rappers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But Dior is clean. They've always been clean. Mm -hmm. Just like Celine, YSL. <laughs> no logos. These are clean things. Taste. My point is saying all this to you is that designer, 10 years from now, 20, 30, that kid, he's going to be looking for a muse. And you could be that muse. And the jacket, the Gucci jacket, is yeah. going to be his big piece that he makes. Or whatever, like, oh, that's when Sway turned Just up. Just like they Because sold. a guy who doesn't turn up, how would he turn up? And that kid needs the reference, and you got to be the reference. Just I like, like how you said Just that. like Dapper yeah. Dan was the reference. Yeah. And old girl had to pull out her old Polaroid and say, nah, Dap did this way back in 85. And that's how he, they had to check Gucci that, over that. Okay. That energy. That energy right that there. That energy right there. Okay, it's important. Okay. Because I care about clothes, these women click, care about clothes. Uh -huh. It matters. When you don't care about clothes, you just wear it. And that's fine because that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Heather, thank and, you, Heather B. And clothes don't care who wear them. They really don't. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them. That's deep. Tell them. Clothes okay. don't care who wear them. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, let me ask you something. In the song playlist, by the way, great video. Thank you. Um, uh, very well directed. Thank you. Yep. A lot of different, a lot of different spaces we find you in in that video. Wonderful. Shout out to Howard. My boy Howard H. Ross uh -huh. from Atlanta, the director that I got with, um, I co-directed with him, and we brought it together. And I don't want to take credit for all those great scenes because yeah. one of the best scenes, they're all white scene to me. Mm -hmm. I'm biased. He, I showed up with outfits. That's what I do. I'm gonna show up with clothes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm the artist that's gonna show up with clothes and good energy, ready to do my song. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do if I come to a set. And you never know what you're gonna get from a videographer or a director. Mm. You never, when it comes to their artistic vision. Mm -hmm. Because I direct so much stuff myself, I take that power away from the director so much mm -hmm. because I have the vision so many times. But with this particular project that I'm doing, I was like, you know what? You gotta start trusting people more. Mm -hmm. Because for me, I've already made it to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. I don't have to, people always tell you, Hey, watch who you trust, they'll rob you. But the less people I trust, the less money I make. Mm. Because I'm not gambling. Mm -hmm. and you got to gamble to make money in yeah. my business, my G. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> you want to win big, got to bet big. Yeah. Right. It makes your life easier. Because exactly. you need time for other things, not just to make money, but to make your relationships, like you said. Exactly. So I gave the power back to the videographers. I uh -huh. said, you know what? I'm going to give, give me your vision. What you got? You know what I'm saying? And they really appreciate that because everybody knows, I don't want to hear your vision. Yeah. Because it's always simple. It's always cliche. And I'm not a simple cliche guy. I'm just not. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what my number is on the charts. If I'm doing work and my art stuff is not cliche. It's, it's just not. If you go yeah. look at my stuff, like none it, of it is. It really it, not. It's you know what I'm saying? Every time, so <laughs> it's, it's just good. different, or you know, whatever, because that's just who I am. If y'all look at my outfits when I come here, it's always different. It's yeah. just, that's what it is, or whatever. So it really was beautiful to give them back that power, man. And that all white scene, I showed up with my fits, and he had that already done, mm -hmm. or whatever, for our first shot of the day. And I was like, man, I felt so good. I felt so good because I was like, I gambled on this brother, and this nigga came through. He came. Yeah. God damn it! Yeah. Oh man, what? I was Say happy. his name, man. Say his name. Hell, H. Dot Ross, my boy Howard from Atlanta. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like he's incredible videographer shout out to street is X because that's who he works for that company two chains tech all you guys you know it's love mm -hmm. thank you for even letting me use your guy like that's that love that people be talking about in atlanta mm -hmm. where they be like we work together that's kind of that's the that's the extent of it yeah or whatever where it's like another label would let you use their videographer to shoot your videos that ain't got that's not benefiting and them two, and two chains to make and taking two chains was cool they yeah. you know what i'm saying it's love like they've been letting me shoot with him when mm -hmm. bank roll fresh rp mm -hmm. was alive that was the last time me and that particular director had worked so mm -hmm. it had been some years yeah it'd been three years in three years somebody could even turn up or fall off yeah so you know what i'm saying when i pulled up to him i was like hey man this is the vision i got this this song boom boom boom, boom. this is what i want to do blah, blah 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 he was like all right i got it and i just loved the energy that he had when he received it yeah and then when, like i said when i showed up that day he had that first look ready and i said oh god wow we about to kill it and that's why you like the video trinidad james man um i didn't see this list tracy was talking about this list i don't know if you know about it 
Uh, they did a top 50 list of Atlanta rappers. Uh-huh. Nice. Who did it? Um, Trap Museum? We that don't one? know who did, who did it. it. Oh, okay. There's all these lists uh-huh. that just be like running around so and then people get you? upset. Nice. So um, Gucci is actually the one who put it up on his Instagram and he oh, was nice. upset with where he landed though. Where was he at? 13? Exactly. Okay. So I'll give you top 10 or maybe we'll just do 13 and up. So well, Gucci's is he at on the list? Or? Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not on the list. I'm not on the list. I'm not on the list. He's not on the list. I'm not on the list. You have one of the biggest singles, but I think, but I think they're more focused on rap. Okay, I'm, they're more focused on rap, and uh-huh. if we're talking about lyrical, success, lyrical. they're talking about people with lyrics, lyrics and all that. Okay. You know, it's like okay. you know, what I'm saying like you know, Rich Homie Quan is in there, and he got big hits, but uh-huh. people like his raps, like they listen to his raps. Okay, I would have so. people look at my visuals, mm-hmm. or whatever. So it's different. So okay. I, okay, and that doesn't offend me. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, what I'm saying like I'm working. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm so much more than a rapper. That's what I was. I don't want to be on a list. I don't want to be on nobody's <laughs> list. Like, you know, I want to be yeah. the best entertainer. I, hey, we'll hey. be on the top 50 entertainers. Man, I don't want to be on nobody list either. <laughs> yeah, so I get that. I want to be on I'm, God's I'm, list. Amen. Oh, man. Oh, you know How about vibe? that? Okay. Come on. You so see the vibe? Who's on the top 10 on that list? So Both top 10, B.O.B. is at number 10. Um, J.I.D. is 9. Big Boy is 8. 2 Chains is 7. Sci High to Prince is 6. Killer Mike is 5. 4 is Luda. CeeLo is 3. T.I. is 2. And Andre 3000. 3 Stacks is 1. Okay. Okay. Who's number nine? <laughs> <laughs> number nine is JID. Okay, the new new, new JID. Oh, nice. Yeah, new guy. Hey, so. I mean, hey, I well, mean, he's he been around for a second, but yeah, and he can rap. He, oh, he's a I'm not not take like that's the whole thing about it is being able to rap and then being an incredible like entertainer mm-hmm. is two different things, oh, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah, it's niggas out here that can rap they whole goddamn body off. <laughs> but they cannot do a show to save your goddamn life. Heather uh-uh. says it all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We it's see horrible. it all the time. Like, yeah. So I, that list. It's a good list. That's cute. Different okay. skill okay. sets. Cute. Okay. That's all cute. right. I, I like love that, that T.I.'s number two. <laughs> okay. Uh, I love that T.I.'s number two. I like that Luda is in the top five. I mean, Luda if, is if in my Luda, top three. If so. Luda wasn't yeah. in that top five, then we got to throw mess. that list away. Because yeah. uh, Luda, lyrically? Yeah. Lyrically? He's stupid. Come he's, on, man. He's one of my... Actually, it's so crazy you brought it up because yeah. the playlist video is yeah. inspired by... Uh, the uh, throw them move bows. out the way. Uh, move out the way. When he had the big arms. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like just Dave the Myers, the, uh-huh. Yeah, the entertainment factor. Of yeah, it. It's inspired yeah. by that. I love Luda. He's the, he killed it. Like to show you how to entertain and be a great rapper. Absolutely, mm-hmm. and actor. Oof. Look at my man Luda. Come Shout on, out man. to Luda. Yeah. Um, who's your crew? You brought some f- folks from the island. Oh, for sure, for sure. So okay. this is my boy. Prince Swanee from uh-huh. Trinidad. What up, Prince Swanee? One of the biggest artists in the island. One of the biggest artists. One of the biggest artists. What, 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 he, what he do? He a painter? It, nah, nah, nah. He, 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 he paint these lyrics. Yo, give him them <laughs> headphones right there. He do? What's that, say your name again, man? Prince Swanee. What's up, brethren? Yeah, How you doing? Yeah. Why don't you come around here and get all this visual? Get it right yeah, in front of you. Come over there. Yeah, give my mask. Give my mask, Bobby. Give my mask, Bobby. Swan done. Okay, man. Right. How, yeah, and then yeah, you live on the you live in Trinidad or what? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, man. We live in um, Trinidad, you know. Yeah. yeah. What what do you, what does everybody think of uh, Trinidad James' success when he first came out? Did the island go crazy or mad, mad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the island was proud, you know. Yeah. Uh huh. Big representative, you know. Yeah. What was it like growing up in Trinidad? Rough, man. Rough. Like, like rough, like what? You was eating once a week, rough or? Damn, what's I mean, I'm, you know, I'm trying to get a... <laughs> yo, how rough was it? Like, yeah, 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 real rough, real rough. I mean, it had the good days, it had the bad days, you know? Uh-huh. But it was rough, and to make it out of China, that is a rough thing, so, you know? Okay. And I'm out, sh- yeah. Yeah, this man must be a big inspiration, too, I'm sure, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like okay. a brother, a big brother to me, you know? Okay. And yeah. uh, so, what you, 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 you got bars? <laughs> You got melody? You yeah, got well, flow? Get thing, man. <laughs> yeah? What's your social? If people want to reach you, how can they reach you? Well, on Instagram, Prince Swanee, you know, Swandan. Facebook, same thing. YouTube, Prince Swanee Vivo. Uh huh. Yeah, man. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, and is he a part of your uh, movement now, or is so, he just he hanging out? So, no, this is what it is. And then where do you get all them chains? <laughs> 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 well, now, the jury is heavy. It's, okay. it's a real Zessa next to me here. I mean, yeah. the, at the end of the day, um, and you said the accent change up? Yeah, yeah, I saw right, that. Right, you right, just right. turned Trinidadian over. Right, right, right. Yeah, like first it. time, first time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, um, Sway, you know I brought 31 grams last time. I remember that. That's my boy. He's incarcerated yeah. right now. 
He sent his Yo, love. He was so sick, man. Trust that dude me. was dope. Trust me. We finished. We we finished up his last album before he had to turn himself in or whatever. He did an interview the night before. Uh -huh. He had to turn himself in that morning. Like we finished. It was it was crazy. But mm -hmm. he sent his love. Tell him I sent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, send mine back. You know he got his head head up or whatever. And when he get out, you know he gonna come spit for you. Okay. That's what he wanted. I to want do. him to come here first. Yeah, of course, I want to bring him to you first. Okay. I, went, I wanted to bring him here for you today. But at the end of the day, you know me, man. Like like I say, it's bigger than rap. Yeah. I, I went to Trinidad at the top of the year for carnival. After Carnival, I went to a boat party. Shout out to um, Biggie um, in Trinidad. It's a guy, Biggie Boss. Yeah, or whatever. He had a he had a boat party. Uh -huh. And like like he was saying, this youth here is from the Beatum. Beatum Projects is like one of, it's just one of the worst projects. Like, you know, Calio Project, mm -hmm. you think of New Orleans? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just imagine that in the islands yeah. where we only have a million to two million people. Mm -hmm. It's not the same. You know, it's, it's different. So, yeah, of course you'll get food, but food is only one step of the journey of a day. You know, you got mm -hmm. so many other things you need to put a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? One so meal cool, cool. Yeah. a day not going to yeah, do food that. Food ain't enough. <laughs> <laughs> it, it ain't just enough. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, you want to you wanna be better. You want to better yourself. You okay. want to wear big change. You won't want to, you don't want to wake up and have to be struggling for gas money for your for your mother, for lights, for the house. That's just not the vibes. We okay. hear it all the time. So anyways, long story short, this is not even about, this is no sad story because he's a hustler. Yeah. He's a worker. And they're doing their thing. So I went to the boat party. When I went to the boat party, it was like a dance hall thing because dance hall is doing this thing in Trinidad. Now. Dance hall is. Trini dance hall uh -huh. is a wave. You're hearing it here. If not first, first, second, third, but you're hearing it here. <laughs> Trini dance hall is a wave. I love music. I love music. Well, hold up. Let's, let's start right there, man. I mean, that was a nice setup right there. Prince Swanee, what up, brother? I mean, can, can you rock on that right there? What's up? What we doing, man? Come on, man. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Let yeah. me tell them, hey. On the road, me a take on Bad 90s when me dey pan Life when me live fat pussy girl a stick on Them love the youth it ambition Oh, I me do it so easy Hundred a week stacking up to the ceiling Boy, them a talk about them feel me speeding But my family, them need me Dark, see my gun, nobody can touch this But for real, no pussy couldn't rush me Them boy, them no see me deadly So the good don't try to amend it Through the storm, them know they couldn't rush me Life belief be a pretty girl I love me Say them girl, them know say me deadly So they couldn't try to amend it So when me dead and gone, me know why nobody miss me Stepping out the field, me don't make history Fucking up the field like my name was Christy One time me out the light, hey, 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 hey You know we don't play Every time me outside, you know me pants wear Trinidad, James, and Swan, and eh. Big up yourself, bling. We go, 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 go. Hey, real up, real up, real up. Prince Swan, you sway in the morning. Trinidad, Jazz, what up? Yes, yes, yes. That was dope. Nah, it, it, I, it's recent. So the how you felt? <laughs> How you for think about that youth was just standing in the corner, yeah, with his chain on, glasses on, just chilling. I go on the boat, I go downstairs because on the boat, it's I seen a flyer for all the people performing. It's Prince Swanee. The first name is Trinidad Ghost. So I said, Nigga, I'm Trinidad James. <laughs> Trinidad Ghost. I've been hearing about the young brother, or whatever. But I was like, you know what? I've never been in one of those Spider Man meme situations where mm -hmm. it's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> so I was like, this is kind of interesting. Let me see what the kid got. Let me go downstairs and see what's going on. I went downstairs into like that scene from Belly. Yeah. When they walk in the club mm -hmm. or whatever. I was like, oh, and then they gave me this drink called Punchin'. Or whatever. It's a hard. Whenever you're in Trinidad, Joe. drink some Punchin'. 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 Tell them you want to drink some Punchin'. Strong okay. Rum drink some, it's a very strong rum. So I'm on this Punchin' with these young fellas. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm feeling loose. And then they start performing. And it's a little stage. DJ. Um, a mic with a cord, uh -huh. and then they just start ripping it, killing it, one after the other, from Ghost to Swanee to Jelano, um, Plumpy Boss, oh uh, Tafari yeah. Meds, and and I didn't know who these, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know, but that feel that you feel yeah. when you know that damn this is Something, dope, yeah, something's there. I said, oh God, I see the vision. I said, I don't, I'm not finna. I don't try and sign people. Signing is some slavery shit. Yeah, I whatever. I'm saying I'm gonna try and push these youths uh -huh. however I can. Whether it's just posting their videos up on my gram, 
anything, drip, whatever I could do, do it. I did a song, a Zessa remix, because mm-hmm. a Zessa is the go big gold chains is mm-hmm. like you're a Zessa. That's yeah, like no, you, that's, that's you, when you that lit, you're okay. a Zessa. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, it's a vibe. That's a real gold chain. All real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just Super. asking, Swanee. Yeah, I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah. Man. You, know, you ain't got no food in Ireland. I don't know how you get changed. How, you know, hey. <laughs> it's better times. It's better yeah, times. Right, okay, it's right, better times. It's Zessa, less stressing. All right. So, like I said to you, Sway, it's. I said, man, I got to push this. I got to figure out a way. It's like, I'm at that age. You know, I just turned 32, man. You know what I'm saying? I oh, feel wow, good. You're doing good, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel yeah. great. You know yes. what I'm saying? I feel like a the businessman that I always knew myself was in the real world. Mm-hmm. The businessman and the manager of money and people that wasn't in, in the real world, I found it finally clicked for me in this fantasy world. And, and, it's come together. And, it, and it came together. Like, bam. That's the balance. How do? How can I help people and it always, don't always have to be money? Yeah. How can I make an impact? I've had a record label for seven years, but I never signed anybody or whatever. But I've gave so many people advice that helped them do their thing. Mm-hmm. What can I do? And I was just like, man, I got to figure it out. And so him being here is just like, hey, man, I know this. I know he's in town because he lives in Trinidad. I just mm-hmm. know he was in town. It's like, nah, man. If he wants to come, you should come and meet Sway. I know he's a good dude. Mm-hmm. I respect Sway. He respect me. I respect him mm-hmm. or whatever. And I know who he is in the islands. Yeah. And in the islands... They know who the fuck he is. Yeah. Guaranteed. I'm going to the island. You know I'm, I'm just going to say I know Barbados. You, yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying? Big up Barbados. Island. Big up okay. my boy Bling that's here right now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Who's yeah. been Bling. holding it down. What up, Bling? Yeah, big up you the Bijan family. You know yeah. 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 Exactly. His whole family, his mom's. Like, it, it's, well, who's it, his family? His his family His family is in Trinidad. My boy Bling, who is here in Brooklyn, holding my man. Hold, he yeah. held me down, hold Swanee down. He hold mad people down mm-hmm. or whatever. You know what I'm saying? His mom's is good people. She do like church stuff in, in Africa. Africa, like helping out people all the time, oh, mission amazing. stuff. That's you know, amazing. His sister's a good woman. Yeah. You know what I'm Shout out to my girl Petra. Just good people or whatever. You know. What's so, the family name? What's your family last? Ramsey. Ramsey. Yeah, Ramsey family Ramsey in Brooklyn. Family. Ramsey family. <laughs> you need to do movies, Bling. You look like you you, you should be in a movie, man. Nah, Bling yeah, is a movie. Bling, Bling is, is a movie. movie. Yeah, that's a movie by himself. <laughs> Bling okay. is a movie. All right. Bling. His name is Bling. Jeez. Yeah. All right. Um, so, no, yeah. So that's that's the vibes, man. You know, okay. I just I knew that you were the brother. To meet a brother like him, just like you were the brother who received my brother thirty one grams. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying like I just I I know it. You know, and I just had to do it. Well, man, look, I appreciate um, all that you're doing for others. Trinidad James, give that man a round of applause. I love the evolution of your mind and your spirit from when we first met years ago to now. Thank and you, now we're learning. You know, people walk in here, walk out learning. Now when you walk in, we're learning from you. So we appreciate you. Playlist is out now. Amen. Swanee, man. What's up, baby? <laughs> Don't forget me, man. No. Okay. No, 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 no. All right. Okay. And um, also we want to thank our guest, Elizabeth Olsen, for coming by. Uh, Corey Feldman for coming by, as well as his lovely wife, Courtney. You can find them on Marriage Boot Camp. Boot Camp. Marriage Boot Camp. Hey, Sway, can I spit a verse yeah. for you? You want to spit a verse? Can I spit a verse for you? Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> What's it called? I'll do it acapella. I do it. Shit, like a bro. Word. <laughs> it's y'all surprised. I, 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 wonder, 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 I wonder, my boy, can I get a. a what beat I like? I like um, I like Baby. Baby, the Baby and the Baby song. All right, hold on. Okay. Yo, yo. You saw he I, brought I, Noah from Rumble, too? Noah from Rumble is here, too, man. Okay. Rumble right. Gym in New York. Get your, get your hey. uh, shape on. Oh, this is another thing I want to put out there. I don't want to downplay other people's stuff to big up my stuff or other people's stuff. So, okay. shout out to Rumble Gym. An incredible gym. Yeah. Okay. And if you got a gym, keep doing your thing. But, yo, Rumble is the truth, all right? Especially if you Straight up. boxing yeah. lives. Noah's, Noah's transforming up. lives over there. Been <laughs> you want a different type gym. of workout? Go to Rumble. That's all I'm saying. I keep bumping into him. I mean, I got to get in that gym. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. All right. Um, this Trinidad James, he's going to take us out today, man. I want to uh, thank all the citizens. Don't forget, next Friday, we're doing a Sway Fest live in Woo! Oakland, California, October 18th. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. West Coast time, 21st in Franklin. That's where we're going to have people enter. It's free to the public. So all of Northern California, bring your kids, bring your, bring, bring your, bring whoever, bring your family members, whatever it is. Um, make sure you bring them. Trinidad James is here. You know what I mean? He about to transform on that ass. Said he should have been on the list. Look at him. Go ahead. Here we go. Entertainment, baby. There it is. Sway yeah. in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. You know I'm feeling my vibe now. Okay. I gotta get ugly. If I ain't ugly, I don't feel right. Nah, man, it looks good. Ugly. It's all about that presentation. Let me tell you something, you rappers that's looking at this right now. That man said to me, Sway, can I kick a verse? I didn't have to beg him. I didn't have to trick him. 
I didn't have to put food in front of them. I didn't have to do anything. Put a fake contract in front of them, lie to them, say if you kick that verse, you can hear this contract. I didn't have to do none of that stuff. All right, sweet. Rappers come up here, say they rap, but don't rap. That's like Michael Jackson not dancing. Woo! Sway in the morning, Shade 4 5, DJ Wonder. So, well, let me check that out. Okay. <clears throat> R.P. Stephen Clark. That shit was ugly. They shot Philando in the car. That shit was ugly. I got to stay with an ugly strap. That shit going to come with an ugly clip. Young nigga strapped with that rat attack. You can get hit and you did it. it. Shit getting uglier day to day. I cannot wait for this day to end. Shit getting ugly by dividends. Niggas on labels that never pay them. I had to kill it, it been a minute. I love my teeth, nigga, fuck a dentist. I'm confident, keep it copacetic. Niggas complicated like a co-defendant. I got them niggas that's running business. I got them niggas that's running plays. I know ugly girls that live a pretty life. Thank God that I'm still dripping. James. There it is, Trinidad James. <laughs> I know ugly girls that live a pretty life. Thank God that I'm still dripping. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen,